The following Archangel Metatron channel is received via James Tiberon. It is an Earthkeeper Stargate video production. All copyrights duly reserved. Enjoy. Namaste. The Astonishing Beauty and Magnificence of the Michael Vortex Archangel Metatron via James Tiburon Greetings Masters. I am Metatron, Angelic of Light. I am joined by Tiburon of Crystalline Service and we greet you in a vector of unconditional love. And so we return to speak of the exquisite vibrational frequency and stunning visual grandeur of the Michael Vortex portal in Banff. Now, there are many unique and unrecognized aspects to the areas of Banff and Yoho National Parks in the truly spectacular mountains, rivers, valleys and waters of this unique column of Western Canada. Because of its gravitational anomalies, tectonics, electromagnetic balance, mineralogy and latitudinal longitudinal placement, there are rare benevolent plasmic fields that allow for a more tangible interface with the divine realms. The sacred lakes you know as Lake Louise, Lake Moraine, Emerald Lake, and Lake O'Hara are conscious living entities. But this goes far beyond the spirit of place that marvelously occurs in the beauty of nature. Because these emerald green, turquoise and sapphire he waters are colloidal with silicate particulate, suspended crystal, these glacier melt waters have a very unique ionic current, which allows for a succinct piezoelectric charge and piezoluminescent photonic attribute to occur therein. These waters, these amazing lakes are in fact liquid crystals. And these fluidic gems project a crystalline geometry which interfaces, and blends, with what may be termed the angelic realm. Masters, the field of energy that makes Banff quite unique is to a great extent defined by the ability to form an extraordinary intersectional dimensional vector, a vector of geocrystalline matrix, in which Archangel Michael has anchored. All who enter within the energies of this area in Canada of breathtaking beauty will immediately sense the enchantment of the spectacular landscape and be awe-inspired. And we tell you, that unbeknown to most, yet felt by all, is the subtle presence of the angelic realm. Archangel Michael's presence is absolutely concentrated within every aspect of this appealing region. The depth and spiritual resonance of Michael's presence, provides an unseen, but deeply sensed prolific magnitude. This harmonic amplitude is fitted concentrically into the pulses of the land and in the standing waves of what the channel has appropriately termed as the Archangel Michael Vortex, for indeed the energies biochemically affect the human brain, and allow for a unique opening of the third eye, the pineal. The empathic seeker will hear the loving voice of Michael, and feel the nurturing comfort of this angelic presence, in a profoundity and clear measure, rarely before sensed in such a lucid touching manner. What defines and differentiates the sacred vectors which you humans term as power nodes and sacred sites, is elevated energy levels. Sacred places of frequential vibrational capacity, and dynamic power projection, can occur in various combinations of energy sources. The most potently endowed among these places of power, are a rare harmonic amalgam, a succinct, and contained prepotency blend, of an embellished combination of mineralogies, crystalloelectrics, piezoelectrics, piezoluminescence, elevation, optimal latitude, longitude and cosmic alignments. These in fact become regions of exquisitely rich, extraordinarily fertile concentrates of life force, teeming in vibrant vitality, embellished with a divine particulate termed adamantine essence. The highly elevated concentration of such differentiated levels of life force units or akash, also are the reason such sites were chosen as areas of vision quest and prayer. Masters, please take note. Focal thought in areas of concentrated adamantine essence, enable quickened, 
manifestation of thought into reality. We say again, focal thought in such extraordinary areas of cogent adamantine essence enable quickened manifestation of thought, of intent, of prayer released in theta waves into your reality. These are then unique points of creation, of co-creation, do you understand? The rarest of these contain dimensional overlays, wormholes, stargates and astonishing alterations, of space and time. The Michael Vortex in Sacred Canada, is one of these. It is even more predominant in its magnificent attributes, as we will discuss, explain and describe in this very special message. The Mikhail Vortex of Canada is absolutely teeming in life force units, it is accordingly one of the most potent regions of the planet, communing with the divine, understanding life purpose, and for manifestation of thought, for manifestation of focal intent, and prayer. Indeed, Banff is an utterly astonishing holder of extremely high concentrations of vital life force units. The Mikhail Vortex is, as such, a natural living temple of higher dimension, a consecrated cathedral of a cache, of that termed as adamantine essence. An applicable analogy of such concentrated life force pixels, in your vernacular, would be akin to comparing a television of standard pixel resolution to one of high definition. The areas of Banff are extremely high definition. Pixels of life force are so immensely aggregated, so highly coagulated that the air often seems to sparkle. Within this area, all kingdoms of the living earth are extremely vibrant. The plant, animal and mineral kingdom in Banff are therefore highly radiant, highly vibrant, perfectly expressed and extremely conscious. Indeed, extremely conscious. We have called to the channel to lead a group pilgrimage of quest, and of highest intent, to anchor into the heart energy of love, into the post-2012 new energy of the Mikhail Vortex, a call for highest good and world peace. And indeed this is essential. The timing is The purpose is to amplify the message of love and set forth to groundwork of the coming golden age of 2038. For the area of the Mikhail Vortex is the heart center of the Americas, and indeed of the planet, and it is a hallowed center of manifestation, of creating reality through focal thought in highest good. And we tell you, Banff is a potent center, anchoring the divine energy of Archangel Michael, the crystalline shift and the Andean to Rocky Mountain current. You are familiar with the electrical current flow, of that you term, as ley lines. And we will add that there are additional lines of energetic flow, and points of energetic projection, other than ley lines. Included are the axial tonal lines of harmonic oscillation and the unique telluric energy flows that occur along rivers, hydro lines, aquifers, fault lines and the continuous spine of mountain ranges. These currents are living conduits of energy for the conscious earth. And so we tell you, mountain ranges carry a flow of incredible energy and these are far more important, far more alive than you may imagine. They spawn lay energies, and are conduits of the kundalini force of the crystal electric earth. The mountain systems of the earth, are characterized, by a network structure of sensory energies. Energies that in fact serve, in a manner of speaking, as the planet's nervous system. Yet they are far more. Mountain ranges produce many chakra centers and enable meridians of planetary consciousness, and provide templates that allow for dimensional interfaces with higher realms. And no mountainous range is more potent or is greater in purpose and consciousness, than the Andes to Rockies mountainous column Nar, which traverses the entire length of the Americas. This mountain range can be appropriately thought of as the spinal column of the Americas, for it is a living sensory apparatus, rich in unimaginable powerful currents of living energy, currents that amplify its consciousness, and we tell you dear masters, along the reconnection of the Rockies to Andes, 
The most potent areas include Banff, the Michael Vortex, of Sacred Banff. And indeed, Lord Michael is very present in this special vector, and in fact Archangel Mikhail is manifest, in visible clarity, within the vortex of his namesake in Sacred Canada, and his hallowed presence is increasing in the energy of the new earth within the crystalline shift. And Lord Michael is there with great purpose, which we will discuss in this channel. Archangel Michael, the Michael Vortex. Lord Michael began anchoring his presence in a triangulated portal within the core of the Canadian Rockies after the gateway event you call the 1111. The process required three years to complete. The three pinnacles within the triangulated vector occur at the crystalline waters of Lake Louise, Lake O'Hara and Emerald Lake. These three crystalline lakes hold an incredibly potent energy and are thus capable of anchoring and potently sustaining manifestations of Archangel Michael's energetic presence. The clarity that pre-existed in these pristine sites has facilitated many to have direct experiences with his divine presence. A counterclockwise energy vortex was set into motion prior to the 1212, connecting the locations. The triangulation has formed what may be referred to as the Michael Vortex, and a great spiritual light is thus disseminated throughout the entire area for hundreds of miles. And that is important to realize, for the energy does indeed extend in concentric layers, and expands further than the inner triangulation of the three anchor points. And there is a call to connect to these pristine energies, for within these consecrated regions, resides an even greater clarity, and even greater concentrative life force. Enhanced crystalline clarity is indeed occurring in many power nodes across the planet in the post-2012 energy of the new Earth. Indeed, an embellished energy that did not, and could not, be fully expressed in a 12-dimensional format prior to the 2012 completion of the 144 crystalline grid, now is present in many power node locations. However, it must be said dear masters, that among those power nodes on your planet termed as sacred sites, the Michael Vortex of the Canadian Rockies, is elevated and indeed differentiated, and it is truly quite exceptional. For this mountainous area of Banff and Yoho National Parks of Alberta and British Columbia, in the mountains of Western Canada uniquely, and harmoniously merge rare mineralogies, gravitational and crystal electromagnetic forces in a newly formed triple spin format, a matrix that affects an even more potent interface between dimensions, one that does not occur in such a format, anywhere else. For Banff also blends light spectra and matter spectra, in an accessible manner, that uniquely allows each human seeker to remain within its incredibly elevated vibrational energies without auric depletion. Indeed, without this unique harmonic softening, we assure you, that the energies of place would be so intense, that an auric implosion would occur after a short time. The vectors of Banff as Holy of Holies in ancient times, there were certain recognized vectors that were termed as Holy of Holies. These were located in potent natural power nodes, and amplified by temples of specific structure utilizing the Phi Golden Mean, aligned directionally, and cosmically. These venerated energies were in essence contained in placement in the sacred temples and pyramids of Atlantis, Egypt, Yucatan, Asia. Greece and Judea. Yet, they were not accessible to all, rather only to the initiated masters, elders and high priests. For indeed, the great intensity of these carefully honed stations, could not be sustained by the uninitiated. We tell you that the energies within specific points of the Mikhail Vortex contain an energy equally potent to those of ancient days. There are vectors of the Canadian Rockies that absolutely can be considered as living natural temples within which are utterly astonishing frequencies equivalent to the interdimensional aspects of the ancient Holy of Holies. And yet in the Michael Vortex, 
the vectors of the Holy of Holies. Within this succinct melange are in a unique resonance that is both sustainable and accessible to all. That is because of the rare harmonious natural balance and the rare living crystal geometry in place, within the areas of Banff and Yoho. Fluid Geometric Fields We have told you before that sacred geometry underpins all realities, all dimensions. Within the Mikhail Vortex of Canada is an incredible multifaceted geometry. A precise dimensional vector of all three planetary grids, unified within the double pentadodecahedron format of the 144 crystalline grid, harmonically exists within the Michael Portal triangulation. As such, the geometric projection of this vortexal portal area contains all the sacred geometric codes including the tetrahedron, hexahedron, octahedron, dodecahedron and icosahedron. The area projects the sacred geometrics and crystalline codes of not only the metatronic cube, but also complex geometries of higher dimensions far beyond the succinct equity of the platonic solids code-bearing crystals. In this geopatterning, the energy of metatron pervades within this area via the sacred geometric overlay. It is in fact the metatronic geometry overlay that forms the gateway, the template for the entry of the other angelic energies to manifest within this area. And it is important to note, that while Lord Michael is the anchoring presence, the full realm of the angelic kingdom, can, and do manifest in this angelic gateway, including Raphael, Ariel and Gabriel, Thus for those requiring healing, for those seeking clarity of purpose and removal of obstacles, all are called, yes, all are called, and all may hear the trumpeting and the full divine calling of the myriad host of those divine light beings you term as angels, for indeed, all within the angelic kingdom exist in this template termed as the Michael Vortex. And take note, this belies a benevolent fluidic matrix a complex overlying structure of perpetual geometric sustenance. The structure is such that the sacred geometric template of the Mikhail Vortex in Canada enables a constant negation of untoward energy. The energetic blends as we have stated, within the Mikhail Vortex, uniquely forms the metatronic cube in a very reactive multi-dimensional matrix such that any telluric force or emotional energy that would in other regions malefect the balance of the crystalline template is met with an immediate counterbalancing adjustment that will maintain perfect symmetry. This combines with the natural telluric energies that offer a softening of what would otherwise be an energy of great intensity. Thus, an impeccable clarity of consecrated energy exists succinctly and uniquely in this specific vector of the Canadian Rocky Mountains. This stretch of the Rocky Mountains is by far the most potent on the planet in its embellished portals and vortexal sites. Humans experience this as an area of quickened, higher thought manifestation. Higher thought, pure thought, loving feelings, are amplified, higher human thought, the elevated emotions and heartfelt feelings of loving energies are transduced and imprinted into the geometric vector within the operating system of these geocrystalline energies, and thus, real immediate healing and transformation can occur here. That which you refer to as negative thought is in a manner of speaking, laid somewhat dormant within this positive, angelic field. This nullification is because negativity lacks the appropriate hyperdimensional geometric frequency impulse to achieve reaction or imprintable recorded recognition within the positive homogeneous matrix. The matrix thus projects the energy of love. And indeed, this immaculate energy is thus effectively disseminated throughout the area of the Michael Vortex for hundreds of miles. That is one of the reasons that the people living in this land are perceived as being so agreeable in disposition. The healing power of radium hot springs. Within the Canadian Rockies are two extraordinary hot springs. The hot springs in the village of Banff at the base of Sulphur Mountain, 
and Radium Hot Springs in British Columbia near Lake Windermere, both contain the very rare element of radium in trace levels. As your Edgar Casey stated in his prolific health readings, radium is very beneficial to the human body in low levels. Radium is slightly radioactive, occurring in both of these Canadian natural thermal waters. Radium is extremely rejuvenating. It is interesting to note that the only other natural hot springs containing radioactive healing radium and such benevolent trace levels in a crystalline matrix is located in Hot Springs National Park, in the powerful crystal vortex of Arkansas. There is then a natural axial tonal line of energy connecting the crystal vortex of Arkansas to the Michael Vortex of Canada, through both the structured radium crystal waters and the crystal mineralogy indigenous to both areas. Soaking in these Canadian radium thermal springs is the perfect pre-treatment preparation for entering the heart of the Archangel Mikhail Vortex at Lake Louise. These waters absolutely remove any auric attachments, reinforce and recharge the human auric field as well as quicken the alignment of the 12 chakras. But let us go further. These mineral-rich thermal waters are extraordinary living waters, embedded with conscious energies, and accordingly offer many attributes and benefits. We strongly recommend spending time, at minimum three hours in these rare, living, truly remarkable waters. Indeed they will charge you with not only vital life force, but also with an added strength of will and urge of betterment in alignment with your higher self and true life purpose. You will find an inner tranquility is provided and lucid dreams are enabled after bathing in this waters, for the energy of Mikhail is naturally within them, and in water, living water the induction into the human etheric field is quickened. Chateau Lake Louise, an utterly astonishing jewel. Now. Let us speak of the magnificent waters of Lake Louise. Chateau Lake Louise sits atop a creviced moraine, created by Victoria Glacier when the last ice age ended more than 12,000 years ago. The lake is a startling blend of vibrant glowing green-blue water, so beautifully iridescent that it appears to be amid a glow, as if lit from underneath. At the far end of the mile-long lake soars Mount Victoria exquisitely etched in the white blue of the crystalline glacier. We tell you that these waters are not only piezoelectric but also piezoluminescent, energy concentrated within geological walls. Lake Louise is boxed on three sides by high granite walls that enclose the magical area like the cradled hands of God. The rock wall enclosure and resulting energy containment provided by the quartzitic granite walls is very very significant. It is in fact this boxed enclosure of the various inflows of telluric, solar and elemental energies that differentiates Lake Louise. Its cubic and octahedral formations in trap, contain and amplify the benevolent energy level. Visibly, it is one of the most beautiful mountain scenes on earth. But it has another layer of unseen inner majesty and depth of purpose. Lake Louise is one of the key triangulated points of the Michael Vortex, specifically because of its accessibility. In this area of Lake Louise, balancing healing powers are immense. It is a sacred place, a healing, balancing energy of great intensity. It is a great, yet subtle, geo-softened intensity that benevolently affects every visitor to the special mountain top of Lake Louise and there are many visitors. Contrary to what one may initially conceive, the energy of Lake Louise is absolutely not male affected by the hundreds of daily visitors and hotel guests. In fact, quite the contrary, it is energetically enhanced. We tell you that the visitors are, without exception, moved by the energy and incredible, inspiring beauty. All visitors experience a deep wonderment and elevated sense of the profound beauty and awe of the majestic scene before them, and that elevated emotional energy is released onto and into the resonate energy of Lake Louise. 
and this human emotional energetic flow is transduced and imprinted, and thus contributes to the incredible energy of place at Lake Louise. At the back end of Lake Louise is the Victoria Glacier. This white-blue diamond-esque glacier has been in place for many millennia, and is in effect, an enormous hydrocrystal, an ice crystal. And this glacier crystal further amplifies, and softens the energy. In the summer seasons, the annual melting of the ice, releases streams of anionic charged ions, forming an enormous plasmic field, a field which offers an incredible sense of well-being in the same way that waterfalls, or ocean waves on the shoreline create anionic fields of well-being and serenity. Expansive Durability For the past three decades, earth keepers and grid workers have been called to experience and align to power sites of myriad formats of sacred higher dimensional energy, across the planet. In most there is a sense time constraint, a feeling of time to go after a few days. This is due to an energy differential that could over time fissure the human aura until an equalization was achieved. However, in Banff, the aura not only maintains its appropriate ovid integrity and circuitry, but continually recharges despite the vibrational differential aspect. Isn't that interesting? Its energy is as powerful as any on the planet, yet its intensity is not overwhelming. Its balance is the plate that serves this experience to the pilgrim and tourist alike in a palatable, gentle manner. Comparable energy levels in less gentle formats are capable of depleting the aura. Not so with Lake Louise. Not so within any node of the Michael Vortex. Negativity, as we have explained, is effectively short-lived, virtually nullified within its energies, and the awe-inspired emotions and profound feelings of beauty and love are amplified. As a result, few of the first-time visitors to Lake Louise anticipate the depth of the spiritual experience they are going to have, and few of them leave without being deeply affected and healed by it. The emotional reaction to the awesome beauty opens the heart, and the frequential balanced energy balances the aura. The penetrating Spiritual energy emanating from the lake triggers self-searching and deep cleansing. Often, you will see robust tourists become so moved by the beauty and healing energy of the lake, that tears of joy soon flood their eyes within minutes. This energy is particularly healing for visiting couples and families. Few conflicts, fears or anxieties can remain buried in this energy and their surfacing occurs in the energy of immense but gentle love, leading to a cleansing release. The issues will bubble to the surface in that cleansing crystal electromagnetic energy. But unlike the crucible energies of Sedona, which are purposely imbalanced, and can lead over time to auric implosion, the energies of Ban lead one to inspiring spiritual levels of alignment and prioritization in a much softer effectual path of sublime purification and aspiration. The energies, in fact, of the entire massif of the Athabasca Mountains in Banff and Yoho, are in harmonic oscillation, in a divine overlay within a soft gentle balance, that are harmonically benevolent to the human trinity of body, mind and soul the crystalline fluids, the astonishing rivers and lakes, as we have explained, carry an electrical field so complex it creates an energetic resonance that penetrates the atomic and molecular structure of everything within its field. For these reasons, certain areas such as Lake Louise, Lake Moraine and Emerald Lake are permitted to have large streams of touring visitors, many of whom are directed to come on a subtle level. The energy of the crystal fluids with the imprint of Lord Michael penetrates their being in such a way that it subtly radiates within their beingness, on physical, and emotional levels. And thus through such whispering induction, it is virtually impossible for them not to be spiritually affected. All visitors to these special energies are absolutely deeply touched and given the opportunity to not only emotionally heal, but also to spiritually expand. 
Now, it is important that when entering Lake Louise, that the time be used wisely. For this is an incredibly unique area in terms of dimensional gateways. It is beneficial to overnight in the immediate area. But irregardless, spend sufficient time in this area for solitary reflection. Not only for enjoyment of the beauty, but for also meditative time of introspection. For this is, as we have emphasized, an absolutely rare energy, it is a complex arena of concentrated dimensional overlay. Space and time are altered here in much the same way that space and time are concentrated within Scotland's Roslyn Chapel. The heart center that is within Mikhail Vortex will allow for a message to be printed, and imprinted in a manner for the co-creation of peace toward the coming of 2038. We tell you that Banff is the heart center of the Americas. The area of the Rockies in Canada is one of brilliant light, and uniquely of crystalline waters Banff is upshifting to the 12th chakra, from the 7th, and it will uniquely carry beyond energies of the crown and the heart. Special caretakers and carriers of heart energy have always been drawn to these areas to anchor and imprint the energy of highest good for the planet. And this now is the clarion call to earth keepers, light workers and grid workers for the new planet earth of 2016 and beyond. Many are called to come to the Mikhail Center, in solitary pilgrimage and in purpose to anchoring group. The channel is among these, and we have called for a return to this area, the Devic, Sacred Dragon and Fay. This consecrated area of the Canadian Rockies is quite unusual in another aspect. There are forms of positive Devic and Fairy life that exist very tangibly in this unique field of resonance. The fairy, pixie and elfin kingdom in this marvelous energy are quite playful and benevolent. These often will manifest into visible spectra near the sacred waters and flowering fields. You will also find that the bird and smaller members of the animal kingdom in this area have an extremely delicate attribute of friendly approachability and playfulness. The chipmunks and squirrels are very close in vibration to that of the flower fairies of the area. The varieties of jaybirds that inhabit Lake Louise are extremely playful and are more conscious than members of their species in other less embellished regions. The ravens, black crows, hawks and eagles of the Banff area are highly advanced, and have been recognized as messengers by the indigenous of this area. Masters, what we tell you now may surprise many of you. But the host of ascended masters that tangibly reside in the Banff and Yoho regions also includes that which you may term, as the sacred angelic dragon. These benevolent and fully conscious beings exist, and are as much a part of your earth as humanity. They possess supreme divine intelligence and are extremely advanced. They are protectors of humanity and of the planet, and are awakening into greater role in the new earth these beings are masters of what is termed Kundalini and as such are involved in engineering aspects of the aptly named Dragon Lines and Ley Lines, which are in fact arteries of life force on your planet. They are awakened into greater role and highly involved in the formation of new energy lines within the electromagnetic surge of the crystalline shift. And it is thus logical that these benevolent beings would reside in the piezoelectric energies of Banff. And the sacred dragon are performing an essential role in the consolidation and reformation of the incredible multi-patterned earth current ley line crystal electric energies of the vertical column Nar, connecting the Rocky Mountains, to the sacred mountains of the South American Sierras, and Andes. Within this area. All kingdoms of the living earth are extremely vibrant. The plant, animal and mineral kingdom in Banff are therefore highly radiant, highly vibrant, perfectly expressed and extremely conscious. There are in fact members of the Devic Fairy Kingdom that are unique to this area, and in the summer and early autumn months of warm weather, in the timing of vibrant plant expression, the area in fact is literally teeming with delightful, benevolent devics, 
elfins, plant elves, light spirits, water sprites and air fairies. Because of all the factors we have listed in this message, Banff in seasonal weather has a much greater variety of the fairy kingdom than any other such region of the planet. And in Banff, uniquely in Banff, even the electrical forms of life within the fairy kingdom are in the positive range. Whereas in other devic rich regions of the planet such as Ireland and Scotland, these electrical life forms also occur in less friendly, mischievous, rather negative electrical vibrations. Not so in Banff. And many of these delightful beings are quite visible in 3D and 4D to the empath. Indeed before the rich plant kingdom of sacred Banff enters the dormancy of winter, no such kingdom on the planet is as tangibly embellished with the kingdom of Fae. And in this region these beings are, are of a remarkable positive vibrancy. This too enriches one's emotional state in Banff. The fairies of Banff are often leading one to higher emotional states, literally tickling visitors into unexpected waves of joy and laughter within this unique sacred geometry. And there is more, for in this area, in the potent interface and powerful presence of the angelic realm, there are also highly unusual hosts of photonic light beings. Indeed, conscious residues spawned of Archangel Michael, loving beings of light that may be termed as angelic, and often the empath may hear what resounds into 3D as a chorus of angelic voices. In the sacred lakes, especially Lake Louise and Lake Moraine, there are highly conscious spirits of the waters, including spirits of the lake, of a divine feminine nature, and because of the crystalline silicate L suspended particulate that differentiates the nature of these fluid crystal waters. These lakes possess, highly aware, highly conscious spirits, amazingly nurturing energies of what may be termed the Deva realm, that do not commonly exist elsewhere. Many are called to come to the Mikhail Center, in solitary pilgrimage and in purpose to anchoring group. The channel is among these, and we have called for a return to this area. For this is an essential time of change in the new earth. It is clear to you that the planet has now in a seemingly chaotic stage of clearing. The earth is in a crucible astrology and it is a purpose time to resolve energies that must have resolution before the return of light in 2038. Many of you are confused at the growing conflicts. You may feel at the mercy of such events and feel helpless somewhat uncertain of how to help. But we tell you masters, in the purposed illusion of the University of Duality Earth, you are learning the divine art of responsible co-creation. Those wisdom carriers among you are called together, and to co-create to pray and visualize the energy of highest good and project the energy of love. So for many, the call to the Mikhail Vortex is a clarion call. For the energies within are beckoning with great and greater clarity. For the energy of Archangel Mikhail within the vortex is in essence a restructuring of the heart, of the 33 chakric system of the new crystalline human. And in the reconnection of the Rockies and Andes, specifically because of the extraordinary telluric energies and mineralogies of the Canadian Rockies, it is the Banff and Yoho regions of Canada that house the living presence of the heart center for the Americas through the nurturing resonance of Archangel Michael. For in this land in this region, meditative seekers, heart-centered wisdom carriers are called to restructure and send forth the vision of the new earth. To meditate in group to send along the spine of the sacred mountains the flow of theta vision of highest good and of world peace. The channel was aware of Lord Michael's presence long before he consciously realized it, years before he understood the significance it had planetarily. That is why, even now, he has deposited an energetic portion of his spirit embedded in this magnificent area of Banff and Yoho. That is why he has returned to this area many times and is the reason he is now called to return 16 in pilgrimage as are many of you hearing our words. 
for each they come, will in kind deposit a portion of their energy in this astonishing energy, and the energy of place, the energy of Mikhail will be received within your chakras in the new human etheric body of 33 chakras. The Mikhail Vortex of Canada is absolutely teeming in life force units, it is accordingly one of the most potent regions of the planet, for manifestation of thought, for manifestation of focal intent, and prayer. Indeed, Banff is an utterly astonishing holder of extremely high concentrations of vital life force units. The Mikhail Vortex is, as such, a natural living temple of higher dimension. Closing. The Canadian Rockies are magnificent beyond words. The energy that exists within them is aligned with exquisite extraordinary energies from mineralogical, water, light and electromagnetic aspects. Incredible energy emanates from the mountains with their granite, quartz, metamorphic and sedimentary strata, combined with the stunning array of hydro energy from rivers, streams, waterfalls and glaciers. The lakes are a class unsurpassed in the world and their accessibility is a bountiful region of prolific balance and healing. The supreme and benevolent angelic presence of Archangel Michael further enriches the energy of this area as a tool of the ascension, and the seeker and tourist alike can experience this. The portal of Michael is presented in an amazing metatronic geometry in the vibrant living waters and amazing lakes. The divine presence has always been discernible here as known by the indigenous First Nations of Stony and Cree, but in the quickening energy of the New Earth, the Michael Vortex stands in an astonishing clarity and spiritual depth and offers an unparalleled resonance for those seekers of clarity, joy, life purpose inspiration and wisdom. And we have called to the channel to lead a group pilgrimage of quest, and of highest intent, to anchor into the heart energy of love, into the post-2012, the new energy of the Mikhail Vortex. The purpose is to amplify the message of love and set forth to groundwork of the coming golden age of 2038. This magnificent area is truly a living cathedral. Dear ones, some of you may feel that in theory meditating in a vertexial portal power node should be no different from meditating in one's living room but we would tell you otherwise. There is indeed an expansion that more rapidly and more powerfully occurs in areas of embellished energy. These extraordinary frequencies within areas of thin dimensional veils can utterly expand you, and enable an exquisite energy exchange that upshifts you with remarkable transformative codes and astonishing knowledge. A sense of an unseen greater reality is felt. Perhaps it is a wind that flows through your hair when there is no wind, or a brilliant flash of light in the corner of one's eye. But to the savant among you, we are speaking to the choir. There are interwoven chains of influence and tapestries of light and sound that await you in the consecrated vortex of sacred band, that will not be found elsewhere, and Archangel Mikhail is there awaiting you amidst the mountains, in an extremely lucid clarity. The clarion calls to anchor this energy and in its unique attributes of amplification, to send forth the energy of love. We are Metatron and Tiburon of crystalline service and we share with you these truths. You are beloved. And so it is. And it is so.